Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today's video we're going to look at Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Figure. Today we're going to look at Buzzsaw Hordak. So if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great videos on 80s, 90s nostalgia, toy collecting, video games, and all sorts of great stuff. Alright, here we go. Here we have the Deluxe Figure set Buzzsaw Hordak for Masters of the Universe Origins. Uh, again, he's got the evil horde logo on the packaging. Pretty cool. Saw blade bursts out of chests. Buzzsaw Hordak, ruthless leader with blaster blade. Looks very similar to the regular Origins Hordak, but there's going to be a few. Obviously, the inside the chest is going to be an action feature, and it's a deluxe figure, so we've got the extra accessories out on the side. So, pretty cool. All right, on the back we got Cross Cell, we got Castle Grayskull and the Wind Raider, and the other uh, deluxe figures, uh, Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Armor Skeletor. Then we do have a demonstration uh, throwback to the action feature, and there should be an actual working buzzsaw action feature on this one. And looking at the back artwork here, Hordak's buzzsaw blast catches his enemies off guard, and we see Hordak there going at it with uh, Flying Fist He-Man. So that's pretty neat. Again, another, in theory, potential option that we could get a Flying Fist He-Man in the Origins line. That would be quite a few He-Mans at that point. Uh, I mean, just like in the Vintage line, of course, but as long as they, they're gonna keep making Origins figures, uh, I'm gonna keep buying. Hopefully they put out all the, the characters that were in the uh, original Vintage line. And in the background, I forgot who that guy is, that that vehicle is, the mount. I apologize. All right, so let's bust open Buzzsaw Hordak and see what he's all about. All right, here we go. Buzzsaw Hordak out of the package. Uh, looks up the, he looks very similar to the, the regular standard uh, Hordak from the line. Uh, he's got the same, looks like the same armband set up. Uh, pretty much same everything except for the chest is going to be an, a chest that opens and then the cape because of the action feature is this extension out uh, still looks great uh, cape is looking nice actually this cape looks like a little bit bigger and longer we'll do a comparison uh, but the color scheme looks about the same uh, the the dark the dark uh, gray instead of uh, the lighter gray in the vintage hordax uh, then the head sculpt is a little bit different. Uh, the eyes are actually painted on instead of a, a solid red like in the regular figure that I had. And then he does have a second head sculpt, uh, a second head that um, is more of like a grinning face. So nice options there. Oh, by the way, um, this Bus all Hordak comes with a comic I think I haven't seen yet, Horde Plague, and it's got Mosquito on there. Mosquito has yet to be released. The pre-releases are coming up for it now, but so that'll be an interesting comic to check out. And Buzzsaw Hordak does still feature removable parts, so there's the description of what can be removed from Buzzsaw Hordak. Oh, and then this one does have a show off of the action feature uh, instructions on the back too. So, Buzzsaw Hordak being a deluxe figure did come with a second double gripping hand. Um, I guess if you want to use some other kind of weapon. However, interestingly enough, no version of Hordak really comes with a weapon that he grips because the, his crossbow just cl clips on the wrist. So, interesting though. It's nice that we have it. Nice that we have the alternate head options. And then he has two Buzzsaws, two different styles and they both have it looks like uh, the horde logo on there and that's a nice little detail these look like parts that are going to be lost over the years for sure all right so let's check out this action feature so i'm pretty sure it's not going to be we're going to have to open up the so so right here we have a little tab we can pull open Buzzsaw Hordak's chest, and that exposes uh, where we can lock in one of the buzzsaws. So lock that in like that. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be powerful enough to like open this door. I think you have to leave this open, the chest cavity, keep his head raised up. So here we go. Let's do a test fire of Buzzsaw Hordak. 
Hey, that's pretty good. And of course, uh, his crossbow is pretty much the exact same as the other uh, Origins Hordak. You just clip it on his wrist. Does have that action feature uh, to where you can pop it. I can always have a hard time doing this. There we go. Not much to it, but you know, that's the way it was in the vintage line too. Can't expect anything more from it really. And I'm perfectly happy with that. Great looking figure with a cool action feature that actually works really good. All right, and here's the new Buzzsaw Hordak next to the regular standard release uh, but, uh, Hordak from Masters of the Universe Origins line. See, the regular Hordak came with uh, solid red eyes, and then this Hordak deluxe figure came with more beady eyes and then the alternate grinning face. Otherwise, the paint looks very similar um, and the plastic color that they chose, yeah. Pretty much almost the same pretty much exactly the same so uh yeah the cape cape is a little bit bigger it looks like because of it that action feature yeah so you can see the first hordak hangs off the ground uh, quite a bit and then this one's almost touching the ground so interesting so there we go deluxe figure buzzsaw hordak for 2021 masters of the universe origins All right, so let's stash Buzzsaw Hordak right here at Origins Castle Grayskull for now. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.